what's up for December? Mars and Neptune above the crescent moon and a New Year's Eve comet. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Houston-Jones from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. 2016 ends with fireworks as three planets line up as if ejected from a Roman candle. Mercury, Venus, and Mars are visible above the sunset horizon all month long. As Venus climbs higher in the sky, it looks brighter and larger than it appeared last month. On New Year's Eve, Mars and Neptune appear very close to each other. Through telescopes, rusty red Mars and blue-green Neptune's colors contrast beautifully. There are two meteor showers this month, the Geminids and the Ursids. The best time to see the reliable Geminids will be next year when the full moon won't be so bright and interfering. This year, however, we may look out and see some of the brighter meteors on the evening of the 13th and the morning of the 14th. The best time to view the Ursids radiating from Ursa Minor or the Little Dipper will be from midnight on the 21st until about 1 a.m. on the 22nd, before the moon rises. They may be active on the 23rd and 24th, too. We haven't had a good, easy-to-see comet in quite a while, but beginning in December and through most of 2017, we will have several binocular and telescopic comets to view. The first we'll be able to see is Comet 45P, Honda Mercos Paidushakova, which will appear low on the western horizon on December 15th. On that date, the comet will pass the pretty globular cluster M75. By the 21st, it will appear edge-on, sporting a bluish-green head and a thin, sharp view of the fan-shaped tail. On New Year's Eve, the comet and the crescent moon will rendezvous to say farewell to 2016. A periodic comet is a previously identified comet that's on a return visit. Periodic Comet 45P returns to the inner solar system every five and a quarter years, and that's the one that will help us ring in the new year. You can catch up on solar system missions and all of NASA's missions at www.nasa.gov. That's all for this month. I'm Jane Houston-Jones.